So a lot of people, especially now, are going to be able to work from home and they're going to be obliged maybe to work from home. So I want to share my tips about how I've been able to work from home in the past few years. And even for me, it's been hard in recent times because like, it's good to work from home, but it's one thing like if you have to be there all day and you cannot go out. So I'll go with a few tips on how you can work from home and do things right and eventually achieve your goals as a trader, backtesting, doing things while you're at home. What's up traders, welcome back to Bangkok in Thailand. I'm on the rooftop of my apartment now. We are um, benefiting from this to go out and like get some wind, which is really cool. We uh, well worth it. So as I said today, I want to share with you three things or three tips that can help you work from home better. And I know like this video is online talking about like 50 tips to work from home or 25 tips to do it right. But I, I prefer three because I, I think you'll be able to implement them better and remember them better. So the first tip I have for you is to like forget disciplines. So I think discipline is really, really overrated. People talk about discipline or like you need to be disciplined all the time. And that doesn't work. That's like a concept that doesn't work because discipline is a symptom of something else going on in the background. So one issue is that people think discipline is what they have to aim for, but discipline is the result of other things. So if you don't have these other things planned out properly, then discipline won't work. It's kind of like if you go see a doctor and you have a problem, and the problem is like I have, you, you have pain somewhere, it's like discipline. But the cause of that is different. It's not discipline, so you have to work on other things. That's the first step. So forget discipline, forget focus. These things will come once you have other things in place. The second tip I have is you need to think about your day as having a balanced day. So it needs to be balanced. You cannot just go like and work all day or you cannot just go and do one thing all day or force yourself to do things that doesn't work. And what you want to do is you want to have five things in your day. So first of all, think about having physical activity, education, so research and development in your trading, then uh, production, so that will be you trading or you, do, you doing something active to create something, either income or something else. And then social is the fourth one. So social time with like your partner or something else around, your friend or whatever. And if you are a trader, you want to make that social time with traders if you can. So in a community, uh, talking to other traders on the phone or on, on Zoom, online, that's super helpful. And the fifth one, last one is relax time. So you need time to kind of unwind, relax, get ready for the next day. And make sure you're not like stressed out all the time. So those are the five things you need to have in pretty much every day. You'll see that if you miss one, it's going to be fine for like a day or two, but then after a while, it's going to get like really unbalanced. And that's where things will like kind of shift and you won't get the result you want to have. And you will not feel happy at the same time yourself. So you want to work on these things for sure. Then the third tip I have for you, which is really like probably the best one, is you want to be able to create systems around your day. Like we have system for trading, we have system for like what we do, but how about like you do this for everything for like your whole day. So you want to think about like the fact that what you do and the feeling you have when you do a task usually comes from what you do before that. So if you have a, t a task before and then you do something after and you don't want to do that thing after, it's because of what you've done before. So you need to go back and try to create systems that work for you, things that you do on a daily basis, one after the other, that like makes sense and that invite you to do things better. So for example, think about the fact that let's say like you wake up and then straight away you go to work. Now, maybe you're not in the mood to go to work first, you have to do something before that. Or maybe you want to like write something for your boss or at work or whatever. But before that you were like on the phone with a friend. Maybe it's not a good fit. Maybe it doesn't like fit properly. Or so let's say like you trade, but then uh, you were doing, you were like having a conversation about anything else before. And then you go to trade. Maybe that's not a good fit. Maybe you have to do something before that. And so for me, usually it's like, if I want to go into trading mode, I have to listen to something trading wise. Maybe like an interview, maybe something I've done before, a video to get me in the mood. And then I can trade properly. Or maybe like if I want to talk to people or record videos, I have to like talk to people before that. And so all these things, the system step by step has to be done properly so that you have your best routine ever. If you don't have this properly in place, then you're always going to be like facing your environment and never like really proactive and really uh, systematizing your life. I think that makes a big difference. So you want to think about those systems and those day-to-day -day action one after the other. Try to improve this over time. Maybe first it doesn't work. Maybe you have an issue and then you find an issue. What is this my routine at home that doesn't work? Then you can adjust that. So make a system that's going to be working for that and you adjust it over time. So your system is not going to be perfect at first. Same thing as the training system, but over time you make it better and better. And that's where you're really going to see the progress and the ability to work at home without having any issue with discipline or focus. Because these, these things come over time. 
want to do the basics right in the systems and the balance there. So I hope that makes sense. These are simple tips, but I see people don't talk about them online at all. And so I want to share these with you, apply them if you want in your life and in your daily routine at home. And leave me a comment below if that makes sense. Leave me the, your thoughts if you apply them and you see some result. I want to hear that as always. Here are a few comments for the past video. I appreciate you guys for leaving comments in the comment section below. And I'll catch you back here in the next video. Ciao.